If you're a small business owner that has a website or if you're even thinking about getting a website sometime in the future, then this video is going to be for you. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some key website design principles that are going to help your visitors stay on your website longer. I'm Amanda and today we're just gonna jump right into it. I know why you're here, let's go. First, let's start with your website navigation. We only have a few moments to capture your visitor's attention and we want to make it super clear and easy for them to navigate through our website and get to where they wanna go. So when it comes to your site's navigation, I know that sometimes I've seen that people really wanna get like super cutesy when it comes to like some of the headlines, titles that you're putting in your navigation. It's going to cause confusion for your visitor, okay? We want this to be clear simple. We want it to be so easy for them to, again, get to where they want to go. So when it comes to the navigation, make sure that you are being super clear with where that link is going to lead them to. Let's walk through a scenario here. Let's say that you are a coach and you offer five different self-paced courses that someone can purchase from you, but you also offer three different one-on-one -on -one services. You might be thinking, how can I set this up in my navigation so that it's not super overwhelming. So this part is going to depend on the way that your website is designed. So this might be a little bit different depending on the functionality of your website. But let's just say that you, in your navigation, you are going to be super clear and you are gonna put self-paced courses. And when someone hovers over self-paced courses, it's now going to show them the five different self-paced courses that you have that they can learn more about. Now, let's say you are going to have your other three one-on-one -on -one services. Again, we want this to be super clear. So in the navigation, we're going to put one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, this is the part where it depends on how your website is set up. If you only have one page with all of your one-on-one -on -one services listed together, then you're just going to leave that one-on-one -on -one coaching link as it is, and that's going to link them then to that services page where they can learn more about each service. But if you're somebody who has each service individually mapped out on different pages on your website, that's when that drop down is going to come into play and you are then going to direct them to those three different offers. Let's strategically think of this in the eyes of our visitor, of our ideal client, right? Somebody comes to your website and they want to learn about the DIY courses, self-paced courses. Boom, it's right there. I know where I need to go. I have them all listed here. Perfect, amazing. Somebody wants to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Again, you either have them all listed there or you're directing them directly to that page to learn more. It's super clear. They don't have to guess, they don't have to search. It, it's easy and that's what we want. Next, we're gonna talk about above the fold design and type hierarchy. So above the fold means as soon as your visitor comes to your website, this is what they see. Before they have to scroll, before they have to do anything, this is immediately what they see when they come to your website. So they're gonna see that navigation that we already covered, right? But now they're going to see like that first statement piece. And we want this to be super clear and super easy to understand because again, we only have a couple seconds to grab that visitor's attention. So we want them to know that they are in the right place when they come to our website. This might be different depending on the industry that you are in, but I work with a lot of service-based business owners. So this is kind of directed more towards my service-based people, but if you're in a different industry, it might look a little bit different, but these key principles are something that you should keep in mind for any industry. I'm gonna use my client's old website as an example. You can see her above the fold. You can see that it's not very clear what it is that she does and how she's gonna help me. I can see that she's a doctor, okay, amazing, but how do I know I'm in the right place? I don't know that until I start reading a little bit more in depth. Our visitors want instant gratification. So if they have to search and, and read long paragraphs in order to find out if they're even in the right place or not, they're going to leave. When we approached this website redesign, we wanted to make sure that we were using her type hierarchy and bold, clear statements that were going to let people know that they were in the right space when they landed on her website. 
So it's grabbing my attention, right? It's letting me know, yes, this is what I need. This is what I'm here for. I want to learn more. I want to stay here. I want to scroll and see what else I can uncover. So even all throughout the website, you can see that we're using that font type hierarchy to kind of highlight those important information. It's going to ensure that things are flowing and that important information is front and center. Lastly, let's talk about color. Color has a way of making us feel something. There's a such thing as color psychology. So if you're working with a brand designer, they should know about color psychology and they should be choosing these colors that are the right fit for your brand. The way that we're using our colors plays a huge role in the way that our website looks. Colors have a way of making people feel something to make people take a specific action. So if you're not using your colors correctly, then you're doing your website a disservice. Typically, when I create my client's brand color palette, I'm keeping in mind that I want something bold, I want something unique to use as this accent color, as I would call it, okay? This color that I'm going to use to grab people's attention when it comes to call to actions. I want to make sure that their brand photography is on point, that they're using their brand colors throughout the brand photography because that plays a huge role as well. You can see on my client's old website that there are a lot of different colors and there's not a lot of contrast here, okay? You're scrolling and you can see like a bright blue button for her Google reviews. You're scrolling down even more and you see a picture with a bright pink background. To me, this just makes zero sense because there's no other pink anywhere on her website and it doesn't look like pink was a part of her brand colors. So when you're approaching this, colors does not just mean the colors on your website, this is also pertaining to your brand photography. So when we're looking at this here, again, above the full design, I see that at the very bottom here, it says more about me or learn about me, but there is no sort of anything there grabbing my attention. There should be a button here in a bold color that is going to grab my attention and make me want to take action, right? Make me want to do the thing that they want me to do. But that's not the case. I know that this is a link kind of because of the arrows, but again, if somebody is there just doing a quick scroll and they want that instant gratification, oh, boom, bam, I know that I need to click this because I wanna go learn more about her. I already know I'm in the right spot because you know that above the fold told me that, now I wanna learn more about her. And again, this just didn't do that, okay? It probably did not convert very well for her because of the way that this was designed. So when it comes to using your colors, make sure that you are using colors that have contrast throughout your design. Use an overlay on a picture if you, if you need to, if you're using that as a banner image. Make sure that your call to actions are grabbing people's attention, whether that be with a bright color, a bold color, something that's going to stand out and make me want to take action. If you're thinking, well, damn, I have a lot of updates that I need to do on my website. Fear not. Just launch some website templates for Squarespace and they are thebomb.com. I have three different templates, one for service providers, one for photographers and creatives, and one for my small shop owners. And these are $199. So if you do not want to go do all this work on your own, if you want something that's already strategically designed for you, then these templates are going to be for you. I'm going to link them down in the description. If you like this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can see other videos much like this one to help you grow your brand. Bye guys.